वेलकम टू विनुता मैथ चैनल दिस इज द लेवेंथ वीडियो ऑफ द मॉड्यूल वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ बुलियन फंक्शन बाई यूजिंग द पॉस्टुलेट एंड द थियरम्स ओके मीनिंग दे विल प्रोवाइड वन बुलियन फंक्शन ओके ए बुलियन फंक्शन एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टेकन हियर दे विल प्रोवाइड द बुलियन फंक्शन यूजिंग द पॉस्टुलेट एंड द थियरम्स वी हैव टू reduce this boolean expression into a small smaller one which has the less number of variables as well as the less number of literals and terms if possible okay so first let us discuss what is a variable what is a term and what is a literal okay so the simplification procedure includes the terms and the literals should be reduced so coming to the term variable a variable it is nothing but it is an input okay the variables the terms what we have considered here x y z these are called as the variables okay next coming to the term term is nothing but term represents each expression okay these are called as a term this term will be represented by using an and gate it requires an and gate to represent the each term each term it supposed to be represented by a one and gate next coming to the literal literal meaning the input the input to each and gate is called as literal okay so x bar is one literal y bar is another and z is another literal fine so in this expression how many terms are there the number of terms in this expressions are 1 2 3 4 why we need four and gates to represent this boolean function so this expression has four terms coming to the literal the each input or to an and gate is called as a literal so how many inputs are there for this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so totally 12 literals are there in this expression and totally four terms are there okay so first let us get to know what is the procedure to Uh, reduce this expression i'll rewrite this expression x bar y bar z plus x bar y z plus x y bar z plus x y bar z in an examination if they ask you to write the truth table also this is the way you should write okay how we have to write see here first how many variables are there x y z only three variables so write the three variables x y z and then since three variables 2 power 3 possible inputs 2 power 3 is 8 so eight possible inputs all from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 fine next this zero is being represented by bar meaning here is a variable x so this is a zero so this will be represented as x bar fine next this is a variable y since there is a zero this will be represented as y bar next this is z this is z bar okay similarly this will be x bar y bar the variable is z there is a one so we have to write the variable as it is no complement so directly z fine from this expression to this what we have to write write all the inputs then you check here okay x bar y bar z what do you mean by x bar this is 
zero y bar zero z is one okay for zero zero one this gives the output right so in place of zero zero one you write one next x bar y z that is zero one one in place of zero one one you write one next x y bar z bar that is one double zero one double zero you write one next here one zero one for one zero one you write one okay for each term what are the terms we are having here for each term we have to write the output as one okay the places where we didn't get any uh, like we didn't get any one there we have to write zeros the terms which are not present in this that's supposed to be placed with zeros fine okay now let us start the simplification see here for simplification first we have to group group the terms so how many number of terms are there one two three four write to try to group the terms such that there must be something common in between and we can use the postulates and theorems to reduce those so we need to take a common c from these two terms okay from these two terms here x bar is there here also x bar then here y bar is there there is y here z is there here also z so can i take x bar z as common okay x bar x bar z z that's why i'm taking x bar z as common okay after taking the commons this that is x bar and z what we will left with y bar so i'll write it here y bar plus as it is x bar z i have taken it out the remaining is y okay so from these two terms we took common and reduced like this plus next here it is y bar right okay from these two terms try to find out the commons yes it is x y bar so x y bar if i take a take it as common then it will be z bar plus z okay now let us use the postulates here in the statement itself they have told using the postulates and theorems right so here here i have already uh, made this uh, boolean theorems and identities okay from this identity from this table we will use the values and we will put see here x plus x bar is equal to 1 right so same y plus y bar it is nothing but a variable and its complement will be equal to 1 can we use this postulate since x plus x bar is equal to 1 that is a variable and its complement equal to 1 this will be reduced to 1 x bar z into 1 okay plus x y bar into 1 why z plus z bar is 1 variable and its complement is 1 here also variable and its complement is 1 next x bar into z into 1 okay here we are having one more identity see here 1 into x is x meaning 1 and operation of 1 with any variable will gives the same variable okay so x bar z into 1 will be equal to x bar z as it is plus x y bar correct x y bar so this is our reduced expression see in this expression how many terms we are having the number of terms two terms first term this is the second term and the number of literals the number of literals here one two this is third and fourth so we reduced 
the number of literals how many number of literals were there 12 literals were there 12 to how many number of literals we were we have reduced it to 4 how many number of terms were there 4 terms were there okay 4 terms to 2 terms we have reduced okay I guess you have all understood about how to reduce and boolean function fine in the next concept we will get to know about the complement of a any given boolean function i think you people have understood and if you have any doubts you can comment it in the comment box and you even you can post your doubts in our telegram group also thank you for watching if you like this video hit a like button and do comment your opinion Thank you for watching. Happy learning.